Bonjour. Welcome to the Notorial CID. I am Valpre. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all of those who have given their lives, who have taken their time, and who have put themselves in peril for your fellow countrymen. This is part one. I would like to give honor to two men who served within the United States military. And the first one we're going to start with will be our great grandfather on our grandmother's side. Millie Smith, her father was Willie Clifford Pugh. He was born and raised in North Carolina. He was a proud patriot of World War I. He was enlisted in the draft in 1917. Willie Clifford Pugh, who went by Clifford to all his friends, or Cliff, was born May 10th, 1895. He was a hard worker, spent most of his life being a carpenter. He went into the army when he enlisted as a private. I wish I had some kind of records that I could find that stated anything about what level he reached. It wasn't really spoken much with my grandmother, so I don't have all that in information. If I could go back this is something that I tell you. If you can now find out information from the past about your loved ones and their loved ones that have passed, you'll appreciate it when you get older. This is a World War I photo of our great-grandfather, and a friend of his. This is the friend of his, which is listed as Thomas Bailiff, B-A-Y-L-I-F-F. -F. And this is our great-grandfather. He was enlisted as Clifford Pugh. Very handsome gentleman. Our grandmother looked a lot more like him than than the grandmother, than the great grandmother. Pardon me. Back in the day, they used to place photos on postcards. This is an original from back in World War One. That is. Uh, was sent to my great-grandmother, Nellie Pugh, by my great-grandfather. This is listed as the ship that he came back on when he came from World War I. I'm not clear as to what the name of the ship is, but this right here, it might say it, but I can't really read it that well. If you have any ideas, please let me know. It didn't state the year, and I'm unclear as to where exactly he served when he was in service. When Clifford Pugh left the army, he went on to have uh, several children with our great-grandmother, Nellie Teague Ward. And one of those children, of course, was our grandmother, 
Mildred Marie Smith, oh well, Mildred Marie Pugh at the time. This is one of the pictures of him and his overalls that he liked to wear when he was doing carpentry. You can notice there's a carpentry uh, hammer hooked into the loop. That's the way they used to do the things for holding your tools while you were doing carpentry. Here he is all dressed up, maybe in his Sunday best. This was one of the places that they owned or rented out during a uh, lot of the time. They would rent things out. My grandmother habitually went on Memorial Day and Veterans Day. She went to buy the red veteran puppies that go toward the veterans with the money. And she did this because when he got older, he ended up having to stay in a veteran's home. It was a good thing that he had that ability. And he would make the poppies every single year for them to raise money. So now every time Veterans Day or Memorial Day rolls around, I go looking for the paper poppies or the crepe poppies in remembrance my grandmother used to take us around every every single time and every single time we got them because it was a way for her to stay close to her father now with her passing this year I hope to keep that going with my family, my, me and my daughter, and when she has children. This is a picture of him and his two oldest children at the time. The larger child was my grandmother's eldest sister, Margaret Elizabeth, who didn't live to be old. She had meningitis. And the one in his arms, that's my grandmother when she was a little girl. This is a picture of him and my great-grandmother, which is, uh, as I mentioned, Nellie Teague Pugh at the time. And this is, they never got divorced, but they didn't live together. So I will always have fond memories even though I never met him because he passed away in uh, 1962. The memories that my grandmother held and us going around every year for the red poppies for the veterans was a direct link to him. So we will always have that special memory of me and my grandmother going around and that it came from this World War I veteran right here. You can always remember veterans from all different wars. Thank you for those who have served and that are serving. It means a difference between freedom and what could be. This has been foul prey for the notorious DID and I say adios. Happy Veterans Day.